about Rego Subatian Buffalo? Yes, sir. We better get started. Well, we're off down at a neighbor's ranch today to help move some buffalo. So even though this is a big ranch, we're talking several thousand acres, the grass supply is short, the water supply is short. If we don't take care of those buffalo, I've lost the ability to, uh, to hunt down there to help us survive for the year. So Ben and I are gonna try to ride up there and get around these buffalo and get them pointed the right direction. You know, one of the first things I'm gonna use to try to find buffalo is the fact that there's limited water supply up here on the Mesa. So I'm gonna hit the water holes and look for fresh tracks. Oh man, Ben, look at that. This is really bad. And this water hole is already frozen over solid. Things are already worse than I expected. The buffalo may not have a water supply. So, you know, it may be too late. Hold up, hold up. There's the buffalo herd right there. You know, we find the herd, and buffalo being buffalo, they do not like pressure. But I'm hoping I can push them just a little bit farther to get them to that water hole. This is a dangerous situation for Ben and myself. You stay beside me. Hey. Hey. Well, there's one big bull that immediately looks at the horses when we start coming to him. If that buffalo bull decides to charge, we're gonna be in trouble. Oh. Oh. Hey, come on. Ben, don't get between me and the buffalo. Get on the other side. Hey. Finally, one of the bulls decides to turn and go the way that we want them to go. And as with buffalo, usually if you can get one to go, they'll all go. It feels real good after a day of really hard work and heading home and knowing that we got the job done right. This herd means a lot to me and my family. It means a lot to the man that owns the ranch. We have to take care of it. It's just another day in the life of a mountain man.